Listening Fanfiction Presents When the Sun Came Up, I Was Looking at You by Suzuki Blue Based off the movie series Star Wars You're ready for you by Sierra Fis Huntman, the general offers holding out a ration bar Ah, uh, no, thank you Ray says a little flattered but mostly confused Where had that come from? All right, Leia says with a shrug, pocketing the bar Half is open the resistance is a very open place, Ray is coming to learn. She's seen more people exchanging food in the past few weeks than she'd seen in the past year. Admittedly, there's more food to go around in the resistance, and at least slightly more immediate threat of death, so maybe that has something to do with it. Still, she's starting to think everyone here has multiple spouses, and it's a little weird. She didn't really think, Ray! Finn calls and Ray turns away from Leia to be confronted with a beaming Finn and bow and an entire sack of space apples. She blinks and they hold the sack out to her. They're your favorite, right? Finn asks, his handsome face looking hopeful. Yes, Ray says, turning bright red. That is, that is a lot of space apples. She's never seen so many space apples in her life. You want them. Poe asks, flashing at one of his dazzling smiles. Ray nods mutely and accepts the sack, turning even redder. The resistance is definitely weird. It takes Ray three days and a lot of bartering to track down enough space potatoes for a counterproposal. There have to be a lot, all right. There are two of them, and they'd given her enough apples to propose to half the fleet with. There definitely have to be a lot. Also, go hard or go home. If she lets them show her up now, she's never going to win Space Valentine's Day, and it is very important that she wins Space Valentine's Day. Come to think of it, she's better start planning now, just to be safe. Ray lugs the space potatoes halfway across the base before finding Finn and Bo, and they accept them with a delight that warms her right through her bones. Hey, I just got a care package from my old man. You two want to take all this back to my bunk for dinner. Bo suggests, and Finn brightens. That sounds great, he says enthusiastically. That sounds wonderful, Ray says dreamily, which she'd admittedly probably say to anything right now. That was the most perfect wedding she could ever have imagined. All three of them together and smiling and safe. Poe spreads out a wide array of Yavanese treats and cracks open a bottle of rum he tells them he was saving for a special occasion. And Ray delights at the sight of it all. Is this a honeymoon? Is this what honeymoons are? She thought they were just legends. They drink their way through the rum and eat their way through the treats and apples and potatoes because of course you eat the wedding food on your wedding night. And Ray feels so pleasantly drunk and stuffed that she just falls asleep right there. All of them crammed into Bo's little bunk together. She feels warm and safe and full and... Yes, okay. Husbands are amazing. Husbands are the best. In the morning, they wake up all tangled up and Bo laughs and escapes the knot of them to make everyone gap. He makes it way stronger than Ray likes, but she drinks her whole cup because it's husband's calf, and she will drink all the husband calf. Finn smiles at her while Poe's busy with the calf maker, and she just flutters. Everything in her just flutters. That's the only word that will do. Poe fries up the last space potato when it makes for Ray's hangover breakfast, and she splits the last space apple between him and Finn because she knows they like less food in the morning than she does. And she is just blissful. Everything is wonderful. She's so bad they proposed. This was such a good idea. They are going to be the best marriage. She already knows. Finn and Poe are infinitely better husband choices than the random mechanic offering her a whisper fruit last week would have been. No offense to whoever he was. Sorry, random mechanic. She's sure he'll make a random engineer and random communications officer very happy someday. They eat a delicious breakfast together and gossip and talk and laugh the whole way through and Ray nearly swoons every other sentence. She's so happy, but Finn and Poe don't seem to mind. Then Poe has a day mission to fly and Finn has debriefings on First Order SOP to go through and Ray goes to Jedi training, all happy as a clam and just radiating delight. Everything is wonderful. Everything is the best. Husbands are the best. Her husbands are the best. You're a chipper this morning, Padawan. Glad you're getting used to the training. 
Luke says. Guess that means time for order trading. Ray does not even care. Ray could bench press the finalizer and would delight in doing it the way she feels right now. After training, Ray finds Finn and decides they should surprise Paul with dinner after his mission. That's a great idea, Paul. Totally appreciate that. Finn says with a grin, neither of them can do anything more complicated than rehydrating dehydrated rations, but they can raid the mess hall and set up a nice dinner in Poe's room so he doesn't have to drag himself back out for food once he makes it back to his bunk. Poe, of course, does totally appreciate it, and Ray basks in wifehood, and then hot fives a Finn when Poe's not looking. And then they eat a delicious dinner together and gossip and talk and laugh, and Ray continues feeling like she might swoon any moment until they all pass out in Poe's bed again. Perfect. Husbands! She is convinced! In the morning, Poe has training with some new pilots, Finn has PT and some more debriefings, and Ray has a Jedi. She is still blissful as a hell and does not even care when Luke hands her her ass nine times out of twelve in training. Whatever! She has husbands! The best husbands! Luke wishes he had husbands like hers. They should find a hollow Finn will like to watch tonight, she decides while she's on her back in the dirt. He'll be tired from PT and probably not feeling very talkative, that's how he's been lately. Anyway, after lunch, she recruits Poe to the effort. That's a great idea. Finn will totally appreciate that, Poe says with a grin. They dig up a couple of disgustingly sappy romances that Ray is certain Finn will melt over and then ask BB-8 to set them up to play for them. Finn, of course, does totally appreciate it, and Ray basks in wifehood and then fist bumps Poe when Finn's not looking. And then they watch sappy, weepy, romantic dramas together until they all pass out in Poe's bed for the third night running. Ray is absolutely going to win Space Valentine's Day. She's already in training. Fashion bar? Jez Pava offers the next afternoon after they finish doing some X-Wing maintenance together, holding a couple up. At this point, Ray takes the offer in stride. Sure, the Resistance is a big polyamorous pile of people. Why wouldn't it be? Honestly, it makes sense. Everyone here is so much better than everyone else she's ever met in her life. Why would they not all want to be married to each other? Obviously, they would. Still, I'm flattered, but two's all I can handle. Ray says, flashing just a smile and then leaving to find Finn and Bo. They all hang out all night and then all sleep in Bo's bed. I have no idea how to fill out these forms, Finn says despondently. A few days of totally still all sleeping in Bo's room. It's wonderful. Later, Ray loves being married. I mean, look at this. I don't even have a surname. Of course you do. It's Dameron. Ray counters reasonably from the other side of the table, already halfway through her own personal form. She's got about a third grade reading level and her handwriting is admittedly terrible, but she was painstakingly careful about writing R-E-Y-D-A-M-E-R-O-N in the neatest of black letters she could. Yeah, I'll help you. Ray takes over Finn's form and writes... F-I-N-N-D-A-M-E-R-O-N, just as painstakingly as she had Ray Dameron. She also helpfully checks the married box for him and manages to squeeze both her Aunt Poe's names in under Spouse's name. Then they move on to her medical history, which is a lot harder to figure out because they don't have doctors in the deserts of Dicko, much less doctors who keep records. When she goes to drop off their personnel forms, she asks the officer on duty for Poe's and updates it for him. Poe's been busy this week, after all. Who knows if he's had time to get down to the offices. She might as well do it while she's already there. That's the kind of thing wives do. I have never liked anybody as much as I like you two, she tells them both over that night's sappy romantic hello. Not during the good part, of course. She never torment Finn like that. They both smile at her, though they probably don't realize this is the most romantic thing she's ever said to another person in her life. Poe says something sweet back, though, when Finn squeezes her hand. Ray just adores them! Two weeks later, Ray has moved the entirety of her and Finn's basically non-existent amount of things into Poe's room and is busy arranging them off just so when the personnel officers show up with a new double-sized bed that barely fits through the door. 
Commander Dameron's orders, one of them informs her, holding out a data pad. Send her, please. Ray does, and flutters, and then proceeds to spend the rest of the afternoon primping and fluffing the wonderful new bed as best as she can, and making her few collected treasures look as pretty as possible on the kitchen shelf they've overtaken. Pa was wonderful, although of course that's not news. She makes a point to borrow the falcon with Chewbacca and sneaks off to buy Poe's favorite wine and the most authentically Yavanese food she can turn up on short notice. She also grabs Finn's favorite beer while they're out because she is definitely going to win Space Valentine's Day. She is going to destroy it! What? Poe says, staring at their new bed. Ray sweeps him off his feet with mostly Yavanese dinner and drinks and he gets distracted for a minute, but then... No, what? This is awesome! Finn exclaims when he shows up, duly impressed. Poe ordered it, Ray tells him, beaming. I did, Poe asks. This is awesome, Poe! Finn tells him, beaming too! Dinner is delicious! Ray collects more little treasures to decorate the room with. Finn leaves his boots by the door and hangs his jacket in the closet. They all sleep in the big bed together and Poe no longer gets any cricks in his neck. It's all going swimmingly, Ray decides. Definitely! She is glad she didn't accept the random mechanics proposal. This is exactly what she wanted out of married! Well, okay, 90% of what she wanted. But she's willing to wait on the sexy stuff. If Poe and Finn aren't ready yet, she doesn't mind, really. She's so happy with them, she doesn't even need the sexy stuff. If it turns out they're not into that. Happy one month anniversary! Ray announces gleefully one morning, then promptly drowns them in all their favorite snacks. What? Poe says blankly. I'm so glad we got married, Ray says, beaming adoringly at both of them. Force, we are married, Finn says as he stares wide-eyed back at her. And we're awesome at it, Ray says, grinning wider at him. You're a week or more. Finn agrees thoughtfully, frowning to himself for a moment before grinning right back at it. They have five AM this month. Oh, uh, excuse me. Foe says Finn frantically fumbles over to his desk and checks his last pay stub for some reason. He looks a bit frazzled, so Ray lights the romantic scented candles she's procured in their pretty little scavenge from the trash holders. Finn oohs appreciatively, and Poe puts down his pay stub and stares at them. Oh, I love you. Ray says happily, leaning over to kiss both their cheeks. Or love you too. Finn says immediately, face breaking into the most brilliant grin. This is the merry man stipend on my paycheck. Poe says, holding it up. Shouldn't it be? Ray blinks at him. I updated it for you when I turned in our files. Well, now I know why the personnel office was asking if I wanted a bigger room. Poe says, still staring at his face up in mystification. Ray doesn't get what he's so confused about, but he looks really cute that way. She kisses his cheek again, and Finn gets up and kisses the other one. Poe blinks rapidly and turns red, lowering the pace up. I love you too, he says, and Ray knows she's grinning just as brilliantly as Finn. End of When the Sun Came Up, I Was Looking at You by Suzuki Blue. If you enjoyed this recording or the content, feel free to leave a comment below, a review of the original story from the link in the descriptions, or support this channel by becoming a member. Thank you for listening.